Hi, friends. On Monday, we started talking about the k sound again, and we were talking about how the k sound is made with the letter C. So let's get started. Today, we have a new mystery sound. Get ready. I'm going to show you four pictures, and I want you to repeat them after me and listen for the sound you hear in the beginning. And also listen for that medial sound or the middle vowel sound. Are you ready? Let's get started. Say kite. Say kids. Say key. Say Ken. Let's say them one more time. Say them after me. Kite, kids, key, Ken. Great. Do you think you figured out what that beginning sound is in all those pictures? Let's see. If I start up here, p, b, t, d, no. Hey, one of our pictures was a kite, and I see a kite right here. Do you see that? K -k. Boys and girls, I hope you discovered that each one of those pictures started with a k sound. Now wait just a minute because, yes, on Monday we did the k sound, and we learned that the k sound was this card right here with the cat, and it was made with the letter C. So, hmm, that makes me think about something. Let's take a look at how we spell these words. So I have kite. What do you notice about that beginning sound in kite? Hmm, K-I-T-E, interesting. Let's look at kids. K-I-D-S, wowzers. Now, I want to point something out else out to you. Listen to that medial sound in kite. K-I-T-E. What does the vowel say in kite? It says I. It says the long I sound. Listen for the vowel sound in kids. K-I-T-E. I. Hey, it, sounds, it says the short I sound. I, 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 but they both are made with an I. Let's keep going. Key. How do we spell key? K E. Oh, it's made with the letter K. Do you see that? Ken. Woo. Ken is also made with the letter K. All right. Answer my question on the right. What letter makes the k sound in kite, key, kids, and ken? Welcome back, boys and girls. Now, one thing I want to point out with key and ken is that, listen, I hear k, e, and k, e. Hmm. I hear the long e sound, e. And the short E sound, eh. Hmm, that's going to be important in a minute. So, we learned that all of those pictures and all of those words, the letter that makes the K sound is the letter K. I hope you got that correct. Now, the last time we met, we talked about this cat blank rule. And we said today we would discover what that second word was. If you think back to Monday, we learned that when we hear k a or k a or k a, that we have to spell that k sound with the letter C. I wonder what we're going to add today. Let's see. Hmm. When I hear the k sound, followed by I or I, like K-I or K-I, or when I hear the K sound, 
followed by e or k e then i'm going to spell it with the letter k watch this so when it's k e i have the word ken i spell it with a k when it's k i like in the word kim i spell it with the letter k so looking at our picture right here what do you think is going to go in this box did you guess it boys and girls kite so this week we've learned about the cat kite rule. now what we're going to do is we're going to practice so this is a picture of a cab a cab we don't see these around too often anymore, but it's something a person you could call and they come pick you up and maybe take you to the airport or the grocery store or somewhere else you need to go if you couldn't drive there yourself. So which way would I spell cab? Think about our cat kite rule we just learned. Would I spell it K-A-B or C-A-B? Pick your answer. Okay, boys and girls, I hoped that you picked C-A-B because if we think about the cat kite rule, if I hear k-a-ca, -ca, then I spell it with a C. And think about that cat picture where the letter A's were her little eyes. Okay, next picture. Here we go. This is a first aid kit. Kit. Which way is the correct way to spell kit? K-I-T or C-I-T? Think about the cat kite rule. Okay, welcome back. Boys and girls, I hope that you picked K-I-T as your answer because when I hear k i or k i like in the word kite, then I'm going to spell the k sound with a K. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful day.